And Vishnu, there was a very extensive press briefing by the Russian foreign minister. You know, take us through the big points. Yeah, extremely extensive. I, I would suggest that this is his most extensive press briefing in um, in the last several weeks since perhaps this war uh, began in the Ukraine. It's a war that Russia doesn't call a war. They call it a special military operation. In fact, Lavrov uh, corrected a journalist who asked him that question or used that word. Be that as it may, the key points in this particular press conference, the Russia's foreign minister has praised India's independent foreign policy. Lavrov said, Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, Indian foreign policy is characterized by independence and legitimate national interests. Remember, on the key issue of Ukraine, India has been right down the center, neither supporting Russia nor supporting Ukraine, but still calling for peace, recognition of the sovereignty of nations, but not explicitly voting against Russia in the United Nations Security Council um, and their votes, in, in fact, abstaining on all votes. Mr. Lavrov, when asked whether India was now under increasing pressure from the West, said, I cannot imagine India taking a stance because it is under pressure. On th this is really interesting. He was asked a specific question on whether there was a possibility of Indian mediation between Ukraine uh, and Russia, to which he said, India is an important and serious country. India is our common partner. We want a security guarantee out of Ukraine on or in Ukraine. And that the West has ignored its responsibility. India can support such a process. Now, just a couple of days back, the Russian, the Ukrainian foreign minister, Mr. Kuleba, told us here on NDTV that, they, that the Ukraine would welcome uh, something like this. So it, it, I wouldn't say that it does seem, in fact, that both sides, Ukraine and Russia, broadly don't disagree on India playing the role of mediator, whether that's realistic or not, or whether that's desirable or not, or whether India is in a position to do that or not, or chooses to be in a position to do that is, uh, you know, I mean, that's just speculation at this stage. Uh, Mr. Lavrov said, the goal of Ukraine's operation, the military operation I referred to, is to reduce Kiev's military capacity. Russia has stated its demands in the last round of talks and that Russia is apparently targeting only military facilities, not civilian ones. Russia is willing to export all items uh, to India, and this will be done once the rupee-ruble trade dealings are strengthened between both the countries, uh, and that a way is being found to bypass artificial impediments, in other words, sanctions uh, which have been placed uh, uh, before Russia or against Russian banks. That's very difficult for India to bypass, because our, bypack, our banking system is entirely entrenched with the global banking system. But by having a, a, a ruble rupee trade system, and you know, we've had this in the past as well, but to strengthen this in the present context uh, might be something that works for India as it makes payments to Russia, for example, for defense equipment or any imports that do take place from Russia. It needs to be again mentioned over here, placed in context, several of the Western countries who've been speaking to India in the last couple of days, and certainly Russia, uh, Ukraine, have said that India needs to be on the right side of history. India needs to be seen to have said the right things because the so-called special operation against Ukraine is nothing but a Russian invasion of that country. But in their uh, joints, in, in the statement issued uh, rather in, by New Delhi today on these talks with Sergei Lavrov, New Delhi did say that the sovereignty of nations needs to be respected, the UN charters need to be respected, India also calling for a de-escalation to take place. And the final point over here, in just a little while, if not already, uh, Mr. Lavrov will be meeting the Prime Minister. This is at the request of the Russians. Uh, he wanted a meeting with uh, Prime Minister Modi. So let's see how that goes and uh, whether we know what that meeting was essentially all about.